The Dome of the Rock, an iconic religious site located in Jerusalem, has recently become the center of mysterious happenings that have captured global attention. Witnesses from various backgrounds and beliefs have reported witnessing unusual sights in the sky above the dome, leading to speculation and fear that these occurrences may signify the coming of the end times. Some witnesses even claim to have seen a creature that resembled something out of the gates of hell. The significance of these events has prompted a call to action, urging people to gather and witness the incredible footage and hear first-hand accounts from those who experience these inexplicable phenomena. The Dome of the Rock, situated on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem, holds immense importance for Jews, Muslims, and Christians alike. This hill, known as the Temple Mount, is a deeply significant site for all three religions. However, it has also been a source of contention and conflict, as both Palestinians and Israelis claim ownership of the area. Against this backdrop, the Dome of the Rock stands as a magnificent testament to Islamic architecture and faith. Built between 685 and 691 CE by the leader Abd al-Malik, this beautiful dome is held in high regard by Muslims worldwide. The, the Dome of the Rock is an architectural marvel, characterized by its octagonal base and exquisite golden roof. It stands on a vast platform and is supported by 16 pillars. Surrounding the dome is a ring of 24 additional pillars, enclosing a significant rock that holds great religious significance. Visitors can descend a set of stairs to reach a natural cave beneath this sacred rock. The dome's walls are of an octagonal shape, each side measuring approximately 60 feet in width and standing 36 feet tall. Windows are strategically placed to allow natural sunlight to illuminate the interior, while the exterior is adorned with intricate mosaics and metal plates, showcasing remarkable craftsmanship. These mosaics, devoid of depictions of living beings, feature Arabic writings, floral patterns, and symbolic representations of jewels and crowns. The absence of figurative art, in favor of abstract and geometric designs, conveys a message through its intricate storytelling. Within the dome, Arabic religious texts are intricately carved into the walls, inviting contemplation and reflection. Throughout history, the Dome of the Rock has undergone various renovations and repairs under different Islamic groups, each leaving their mark on this historical monument. For instance, during the time of the Crusades, an iron barrier was erected to restrict Christian access to the sacred rock. This barrier was later replaced by a more elaborate wooden screen, which remains in place to this day. The continuous care and attention given to the preservation of the dome highlight the deep respect and reverence people have had for this site across different eras and cultures. As the mystery surrounding the Dome of the Rock deepens, it becomes necessary to delve into its historical background to uncover the secrets concealed within its walls. The dome's connection to the Prophet Muhammad's ascension to heaven is widely celebrated, although the inscriptions inside the dome do not directly reference this event. The dome's construction and purpose remain shrouded in mystery, and its unique design sets it apart from traditional mosques. It is believed that the architects of the dome aim to bridge Islamic traditions with the story of Abraham and other religious narratives. The dome's resemblance to Byzantine martyria, circular or multi-sided buildings erected to commemorate significant religious events or saintly figures, hints at the architectural inspiration behind its design. The dome's Arabic inscriptions emphasize the oneness of God and challenge Christian beliefs about Jesus, reflecting the ongoing religious and cultural dialogue of the time. One historical theory suggests that the Dome of the Rock was constructed due to its perceived significance for the Day of Judgment. Its architectural style and ornate design indicate that those who commissioned and built it regarded it as a vital site for the end times. This interpretation has made the Dome significant, not only to Muslims, but also to people of other faiths. It is situated on the Temple Mount, historically associated with the Jewish Temple in Jerusalem. For Jews, the foundation stone, possibly located beneath the dome, holds immense significance as the starting point of creation. During the Crusades, the Dome of the Rock influenced the architecture of churches in Europe, illustrating its impact on various cultures and religions throughout history. The Dome of the Rock's historical narrative is further complicated by recent archaeological findings. A significant earthquake provided an opportunity for researchers to excavate the dome's base. 
unearthing artifacts dating back to the era of the Second Temple. However, these discoveries have added complexity to the situation, as Muslims and Jews hold deep-rooted beliefs and narratives about the site that are challenging to reconcile. The delicate balance between historical claims and modern fears creates a contentious and sensitive environment surrounding the Dome of the Rock. There is a fear among Muslims that the Israeli government may one day target the Dome of the Rock with missiles, leading to heightened tensions. To prevent any escalation, access to the Al-Aqsa Mosque area is restricted for Jewish visitors, particularly during significant religious holidays and observances. These precautions aim to maintain a fragile peace and prevent incidents that could potentially spark violence or unrest. In summary, the Dome of the Rock is an architectural masterpiece and a site of great religious significance. Its mysterious happenings and recent events have captured global attention, leading to speculation about the end times. The complex history and multiple religious narratives associated with the Dome make it a symbol of deep reverence and contention. The delicate balance between historical claims, modern fears, and the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict creates a sensitive and volatile environment around the Dome of the Rock. Chapter 3. Ramadan Chaos at Al-Aqsa In recent times, a deeply distressing event unfolded at the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, an immensely significant religious site that encompasses the Dome of the Rock. This incident took place during the holy month of Ramadan, a time traditionally associated with reverence and spiritual reflection. However, Tensions escalated dramatically when a group of Palestinians, their faces concealed, decided to remain overnight within the mosque premises. They initiated a conflict by hurling stones, firecrackers, and various objects at the Israeli police station there, further exacerbating an already volatile situation. In response, the police resorted to the use of tear gas, stun grenades, and batons in an attempt to regain control, leading to widespread confusion and unrest. Amidst this chaos, some individuals with masked faces sought refuge inside one of the mosques within the compound, barricading themselves and engaging in violent acts such as pelting stones at the police from within. This distressing sequence of events only served to escalate tensions and underscored the gravity of the conflict unfolding within a time that is traditionally associated with respect and peace. It served as a stark reminder of the intricate complexities an inherent instability that plagued this revered site, particularly during a period when tranquility and spiritual focus are expected to prevail. This altercation is emblematic of the protracted and intricate struggle for control over this sacred place, which further contributed to the escalation of violence. As the unrest unfolded, the Israeli police made the decision to enter the mosque compound in order to apprehend those responsible for instigating the turmoil. This endeavor proved to be immensely challenging, resulting in around 160 Palestinians sustaining injuries. Among the injured were four women, 27 children, and even a journalist, an unexpected consequence that underscored the far-reaching impact of the chaos. Additionally, Israeli police officers also suffered injuries during the clashes, with one officer sustaining severe wounds. It is important to note that these incidents occurred despite a prior agreement stipulating that no individuals would remain within the Al-Aqsa compound overnight during Ramadan. These events lead us to question the motivations behind the Palestinians' decision to breach the aforementioned agreement and engage in actions that not only endangered themselves but also others. Fear was undoubtedly a driving factor. The Palestinians were apprehensive that if the Israeli authorities were to assume complete control over the site, they might face expulsion from an area that holds immense religious significance for them. This prompts us to ponder the validity of their fears and whether resorting to violence was truly necessary. Can this conflict be resolved without the need for further bloodshed? To gain a comprehensive understanding, it is crucial to delve into the historical and religious value of this site and comprehend why it holds such paramount importance for both Jews and Muslims. Secret chambers revealed beneath the dome embark on a captivating journey into a mystery that challenges our preconceived notions of history. This enigma revolves around a groundbreaking discovery, one that is as astonishing as it is startling, unveiling a hidden chamber beneath the renowned Dome of the Rock. This concealed space, shrouded in secrecy for countless years, is replete with ancient knowledge that has remained concealed from the world. As researchers delve deeper into their investigations, 
They unearth perplexing artifacts and historical objects that defy easy explanation, affording us a tantalizing glimpse into a bygone era characterized by mystery and elusive understanding. Imagine stumbling upon an ancient manuscript, its pages yellowed and weathered by the passage of time, adorned with symbols that defy identification within any known language. The significance of this revelation runs as deep and enigmatic as the sacred location from which it emerged. The unearthing of such a hidden chamber, housing historical treasures that have long evaded discovery, engenders numerous questions about our past, our understanding of knowledge, and the persistent enigmas that endure through the ages. It compels us to reevaluate our perception of history and provides fresh avenues for exploring the intricacies of our shared. This clandestine chamber, concealed beneath one of the world's most venerated religious sites, establishes a tangible link to the past that few other discoveries can match. Each artifact, each enigmatic object unearthed, serves as a fragment of a vast puzzle, encompassing the tapestry of human history. The discovery beneath the Dome of the Rock is nothing short of extraordinary, evoking a sense of awe and overwhelming wonder. It does not pose a physical threat, but it does fundamentally reshape our comprehension of history. It invites us to reevaluate our understanding of the past and opens up new avenues for exploring the intricacies of our shared human heritage. The secrets concealed beneath this renowned location compel us to question the veracity of our historical understanding. At present, we find ourselves at a critical juncture in the realms of archaeology and history, grappling with the realization that the narratives we have been taught may not encompass the entirety of the truth. This newfound information shakes the very foundation of our historical knowledge, prompting us to reevaluate long-held assumptions about the past. The unearthing of these secrets beneath the Dome of the Rock introduces a paradigm shift, casting doubt upon what we once considered irrefutable in our collective history. It serves as a testament to the notion that the story we believe to be complete may, in fact, harbor further revelations yet Despite the Dome of the Rock typically being regarded as a symbol of peace, a recent incident unfolded there, sending shockwaves of concern throughout the vicinity. Not long ago, during a prayer gathering, an alarming and disquieting occurrence transpired as snakes emerged from beneath the temple, instigating fear and panic among the worshippers. This wholly unexpected event, transpiring during a sacred time, left those present in a state of astonishment and apprehension. The appearance of snakes during such a period of reverence compels us to delve deeply into their significance. In religious texts such as the Bible and the Quran, snakes often assume meanings associated with death, peril, and malevolence. They evoke a primal fear within individuals, symbolizing not only physical toxicity but also the concept of harm or corruption. In the biblical story of Genesis, the snake is portrayed as a symbol of Satan himself, an entity adept at deceiving humans and leading them astray from the righteous path. This imagery is echoed in other biblical passages, wherein Satan is frequently described as an ancient serpent. Although snakes are commonly associated with trickery and evil, certain cultures perceive them as symbols of rebirth, transformation, and positive Within the context of the Christian faith, the initial perception of the snake as a symbol of human temptation and downfall undergoes a transformation through the teachings of Jesus Christ, in this new light, the snake becomes a signifier of healing, redemption from sin, and the prospect of embarking upon a spiritual journey anew, evoking themes of resurrection and fresh beginnings. This multifaceted interpretation of the snake, as both a harbinger of danger and a source of hope for healing and renewal, adds layers of complexity to our understanding of its symbolism. Particularly within religious narratives such as the one surrounding the Dome of the Rock, the dual connotations of the snake compel us to ponder its profound significance, urging us to explore when discussing spiritual battles. Individuals are often encouraged to perceive themselves as warriors confronting invisible perils lurking in sacred spaces, much like venomous snakes concealed beneath places of prayer. They are implored to unite in the face of malevolent influences surrounding them. In these narratives, Jesus Christ emerges as the ultimate hero, fostering peace and unity among people. His influence is believed to extend far beyond Jerusalem, encompassing other holy sites such as the Kaaba in Mecca. Nonetheless, the perception of Jesus' endeavors varies greatly among different religious traditions. 
Some view his teachings as a unifying force, bridging divides between disparate groups. While others may not accord these messages the same level of significance due to divergent religious doctrines, irrespective of divergent beliefs, the warnings issued by Jesus regarding the advent of an evil leader, often referred to as the Antichrist, hold considerable importance for many. These admonitions serve as a call to remain vigilant and united in the face of future challenges. This notion underscores the imperative of awareness and collective action, transcending religious boundaries and emphasizing the shared responsibility of readiness and mutual support when confronted with potential threats. It serves as a reminder that, despite our divergent beliefs, we all share the necessity of preparedness and collective resilience, accentuating the principle of unity in the face of potential adversities. As we delve deeper into this enigma, the skies above Jerusalem reveal evidence that compels us to question our beliefs and foster skepticism. Chapter 5 UFO Sightings Over the Holy Land recounts a captivating event that transpired on the chilly evening of January 28, 2011, in the skies of Israel. A keen observer noticed an extraordinary formation of lights, colloquially known as a UFO or unidentified flying object. As the observer continued to gaze skyward, they witnessed a cluster of lights coalescing into what appeared to be a luminous orb suspended in the air. Astonished by this inexplicable phenomenon, the observer managed to capture the event on camera. For approximately 20 seconds, this enigmatic light descended closer to the earth, hovering just above nearby buildings. Suddenly, with a velocity reminiscent of the speed of light, it ascended rapidly into the night sky. This peculiar occurrence unfolded directly above Jerusalem, specifically over the Dome of the Rock or the Temple Mount, a location of immense historical and religious significance to Christians, Muslims, and Jews. It is famous for its association with pivotal events narrated in the Bible and the Quran, such as Abraham's test of faith, Solomon's construction of the first temple, Jesus' confrontation with the money changers, and Prophet Muhammad's ascension to heaven, curiously, sightings of unidentified flying objects, UFOs, in the skies above Jerusalem, are not infrequent. In fact, they occur with some regularity. The city's residents often report witnessing these perplexing objects in the sky, leaving everyone bewildered as to the true nature of these phenomena. But the recurring sightings of UFOs in Jerusalem's airspace have sparked widespread curiosity and speculation. Each year brings forth new reports of these enigmatic objects, leaving researchers, skeptics, and enthusiasts alike pondering the underlying truth behind these aerial apparitions. The prevalence of these sightings forces us to confront the possibility of extraterrestrial presence or advanced technological phenomena that challenge our current understanding of the world, the Dome of the Rock, as the epicenter of these sightings, adds an additional layer of intrigue to the mystery. Given its historical and religious significance, the presence of UFO activity above this revered site raises profound questions. Could these sightings be connected to the secrets concealed beneath the Dome of the Rock, do these mysterious objects hold symbolic or metaphysical significance? Or is there a scientific explanation for these sightings, rooted in atmospheric phenomena or human technology? Exploring the implications of these UFO sightings necessitates an examination of various perspectives and disciplines, including astronomy, ufology, psychology, and religious studies. Scientists and researchers strive to capture and analyze the phenomena through advanced instruments and investigative techniques. Scholars delve into religious texts, seeking clues and interpretations that may shed light on the significance of these sightings within the context of faith and spirituality. Psychologists explore the psychological and emotional impact of witnessing such extraordinary events, studying the effects on individuals and society as a whole. The UFO sightings over the Dome of the Rock serve as a catalyst for introspection and contemplation challenging our preconceived notions about the nature of reality and our place in the universe. They force us to question what we believe, encouraging open-mindedness and a willingness to explore unconventional possibilities. These sightings compel us to consider the existence of other intelligent beings in the cosmos, the potential for interstellar communication, and the profound implications such discoveries would have on our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. In the quest for answers, it is essential to maintain a balanced perspective, considering both scientific inquiry and the richness of human experience. The convergence of science, 
spirituality, and human curiosity may ultimately provide a more comprehensive understanding of the UFO sightings over the Dome of the Rock and their broader significance. As we continue to delve into the mysteries that unfold above Jerusalem's skies, it becomes evident that the secrets hidden beneath the surface of the Dome of the Rock are not limited to historical and religious narratives alone. They extend into the realm of the unexplained, beckoning us to explore new horizons of knowledge and challenge the boundaries of our understanding. In doing so, we may uncover profound truths that reshape our perception of history, spirituality, and the cosmos at large. The enigma of the Dome of the Rock and the UFO sightings above it serves as a reminder that the world we inhabit is far more complex and awe-inspiring than we can ever imagine, urging us to embrace the unknown and embark on a journey of discovery that transcends the confines of our current beliefs. In 2022, an American drone in the Middle East captured something unusual in the air, a shiny metal sphere-like object. What's fascinating is that these UFOs are not always visible to everyone. Those attempting to record these objects on their smartphones are frequently left disappointed, as the footage is usually blurry. It seems our phones just aren't capable enough to capture clear images or videos of distant objects in the sky. When videos of UFOs over a renowned landmark in Jerusalem began circulating online, people were curious about who recorded these mysterious clips. The unknown identity of the videographer led to a lot of skepticism. Usually, if someone witnesses something truly unusual, they're quick to share it with others. But the anonymity of the person who recorded these videos has led to much curiosity and doubt. Some people even think that maybe all these videos were made by the same individual. This theory casts a significant doubt over the authenticity of the videos. One would expect that a person who saw and filmed such an extraordinary event would be eager to share their story with the world. The entire situation has raised numerous questions and curiosity about the nature of these sightings. It's not just about who filmed the videos. What's even more mysterious is that it seems only those who recorded these events witnessed the lights. The Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem is a well-known and holy site, attracting many people daily, including tourists interested in religious history. However, despite the potential for thousands of people to be nearby when these videos were taken, no one else has claimed to have seen these bright lights, making the whole scenario even stranger. In one of the videos, a woman remarks on the intensity of the light, saying it was almost painful to look at. But here's an even stranger detail. The light didn't seem to illuminate the golden dome directly below it. This peculiarity has led some to speculate that the UFO light might have been digitally added to the video later. Adding a simple light effect to a video is much easier than creating a detailed UFO with complex features like windows or shadows. This ease of manipulation makes the video seem even more dubious. The debate over these Jerusalem UFO videos is fierce, with people firmly on both sides. Some believe the videos are real, while others are convinced they're fake. The believers haven't provided more convincing evidence than the skeptics. In scientific discussions, it's not enough to simply say something is untrue. If you're going to dispute a claim, you need a better explanation that fits all the evidence. This principle is what makes the debate around these videos so intense and complicated. When you take a closer look at the videos that are said to show a spaceship from another world, you can see that the spaceship looks quite small. It's especially tiny when you compare it to the big dome that it's supposed to be flying over. The spaceship that people are talking about is only about 15 feet long, that's very small for something that is supposed to have come from far away in space. Experts, like Robert Schaefer who has spent a lot of time looking into reports of UFOs, are sure that these videos aren't real. Schaefer has found clear signs that the videos were changed using computers. The person who made these videos added in effect to make it look like the camera was shaking, and this is really easy to see at the edges of the video. This kind of change suggests that the video wasn't just put online straight from the camera. Instead, it was changed using advanced software. When someone is really good at editing, they can make it look like whatever they can think of is really happening. This raises big questions about whether the videos are actually true. Since these videos came out, there's been a lot of arguing about whether they're real or not. Some people really want to show that UFOs are real, and they insist that these videos are genuine. But when others who are more doubtful ask hard questions, the people who believe in the videos often can't give strong proof to back up what they're saying. 
this has led to a lot of arguing, with each group sticking to their own opinions. Even with all this talk, no one has been able to give clear proof that would end the argument once and for all. From celestial wonders back to earthly disputes, the stage is set for a final confrontation over the most contested piece of land in human history. The battle for sacred ground, the phrase abomination of desolation, is a term from the Bible that describes a time of extreme hardship and persecution. It's specifically mentioned in the book of Daniel, and also by Jesus. It signifies a time of intense evil and destruction. This term is linked to a key moment in prophecies about the end of the world. It involves placing something very offensive in a sacred place, which leads to a lot of shock and sadness. When faced with such difficult times, many Jewish people hold on to the hope that the Third Temple will be rebuilt in Jerusalem. This isn't just a wishful thought for them. It's believed to be the completion of prophecies from long ago. For Christians, this future Third Temple is also very important. They believe that Jesus will return there, which is a crucial event in their faith. At the same time, Muslims are looking forward to this place because they believe it's where the Mahdi, a highly honored figure, will emerge to establish justice and peace. The plan to build the third temple where the Dome of the Rock currently stands, a holy site for Muslims, causes a lot of conflict. This situation involves a mix of history, religion, and politics. It affects not just individuals but also the relationships between countries. It forces us to recognize and respect the different views people have as we try to find common ground in a world that is very connected and complicated. Is what appeared by the Dome of the Rock a sign of otherworldly intervention or a marvel of natural phenomena yet to be understood? What implications does this event hold for our understanding of the universe and our place within it? Share your thoughts and theories. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more.